Did you remove it? Yeah. I'm Michelle Stocker. I'm so assistant professor of paleobiology. A bit of bone there. I study reptile evolution mostly through the Triassic. So these are fossils that are about 240 to 200 million years old. That's right. It's a rib. We have Tuesday night lab night where undergrad students can come in from 6 to 8 p.m. and they learn how to prepare fossils. Always hold it with two hands when you're holding the fossils. And we start everybody off with something that is covered with mud and a toothbrush and a cup of water. And then they can learn how to scrub that mud off of the surface until you just see the bone or harder rock that's adhered to it. Once they're comfortable with that, we move them up kind of skill levels with sharper objects and then they work on actually like pulverizing the rock off of the bone. And make sure you're going like across the width of it too. We can't study the fossils until they're clean, oh, so well, having the students help us get them clean is the first step to actually being able to know what they are. Okay. Based on the patterning, if this piece fits on it, yeah. then it's probably some kind of amphibian okay. from the Triassic. Yeah, there's uh, some geoscience students for sure, and then we get a lot of biology students as well. We've had students from School of Visual Arts, um, pharmacy, engineering. It's important because you get more perspectives on what the fossils mean to the students, I think, but also the students from different programs get to see how they could be involved in them. It looks like this. Mm -hmm. Letting students from different schools and different majors see how their interests intersect with paleontology is really important. Um, you get to see yes. firsthand what this those fossils are. Small, you might be yeah. the first one to clean up whatever that thing is Here. and be the first person to ever see it. Switching off the excess. It's awesome to see other cool. people have that same kind of realization that we had. Hey, those were two pieces? Nice job, that's a good fit. We don't have a name for it yet, it's a new species.